How do you feel by surprising my mom? Nothing. She's your mom. She's your mom too. She's not my mom. In law. How do you feel? It's not my mother. I don't have any feeling towards it. I barely know who your I mother feel, is. I feel kind of excited for. I never done this before. So why aren't you? Filming I never yourself? surprised anyone with the, um. Here. With why are me? you filming me about your surprise? Because you're the one ironing it. So say something. Leaf. Christmas is only a couple of days away. That's alright, I got my family, so I'm okay. Okay, so um, I picked up my mom just a moment ago. We got some groceries to cook at the house. She's gonna make uh, mandu, no, tok mandu. So that's like rice cake and dumpling stew. So this says onni uh -oh. and the uh -oh. bottom one says nuna. So onni means um, it's like older sister um, from a feminine term and then nuna is um, older sister in a masculine term. So we're gonna put that on Suyang and um, surprise my mom and see if she gets it. You think she'll understand? I don't know. It's not that straight. I mean, I don't understand the Korean language, so. Depending on if the baby is a girl or a boy. Meaning that our, the, the younger child is a boy or a girl. Yeah, depending on if the baby, the younger child, is a boy or a girl, they call the older sister or older brother differently. So if you're a boy and you have an older sister, you call her Nuna. And if uh, you're a girl, then you call her Onni. Oh, that's good. Good job, This one's Marina. coming off too. Thank you, Akiba. We owe you a bunch for making this for us. I hope my mom gets it. Hmm? I hope my mom gets Just it. say, hey mom, we have a surprise for you. Come look at the baby. So that she will be thinking of something and not like, yes. Okay. So this basically means like, am I an older sister to a boy or an older sister to a girl? Right. That's basically what it's implying. But we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet, but I wanted to write it in Korean because that looks cute. <laughs> okay, take your arm oh, out. Wait, wait. Take your arm out. Tattoo Joseph? here. You said did I give her a tattoo? Amaya, come here. Hold this right here. Hold this right here. Hold this right here. She's got it. I got it. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, honey, Luna. <laughs> what does that mean? Brother and sister. No. Sister and brother. No. Sister and older sister. Uh huh. Only Duna. Uh huh. She's gonna be an older sister. Mm hmm. No, but what does that mean? <laughs> older sister? How come she's older sister? <laughs> <laughs> Young one is the brother, like Yeah, young one is the older brother. Older brother. Uh huh. Now she's gonna be an older sister. Uh -huh. What? Older sister, older brother. This is it. So you can't, like, you don't believe in birth control. So after my mom had, I guess, kind of a negative reaction towards. Um, the announcement of number seven. She walked away and I guess she just needed some time to process. After a little bit of time, she apologized to Elena saying, I guess she said, sorry. I didn't see it or hear it, but what did you say after that? I didn't know what she was saying sorry about. No. So I, I just said, it's okay. That's all I said because we're sitting down and Aja was like on top of my head or they were sitting behind me and she just reached down and she's like, I'm sorry. Something. She touched you? Yeah. She's like, sorry, um, something, something. 
mm-hmm. you know. And I was like, oh, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's okay. It was in the midst of people, a lot of people doing stuff, so. Mm-hmm. She didn't say sorry to me. <laughs> it's because she's your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, um, when I was taking her back home, I was talking to her and, um, you know, she still had a lot of disapproval. And I was kind of trying to figure out where I was coming from. And I realized that in elementary school and middle school, she had to basically watch or babysit like five of her nieces and nephews, like all together. Like, I guess in a span of like about seven or eight years, she said. At her age, she wasn't really mm, taught how to raise like children, you know, that wasn't really her place. I personally believe that our parents grew up in a year, in years where it was more about survival and trying to hustle and grind and and make it out type of thing. I guess one of the reasons why they came over to America was for the sake of survival. And so the survival mentality, you know, it's kind of, it was kind of put on us. And like having a lot of kids is kind of like a negative thing. Yeah, so... um... Also, after Joe's mom said, like, oh, do you believe in birth control? She walked away or whatever. Then I would just talk to her and I said, well, why did you say that? And she said, oh, well, I got, like, her tubes tied after she had Joe or whatever. And then she said, oh, because children are a lot of responsibility. She said that they're, like, you have to work hard and... Oh, and I was like, yeah, but even if you have two children like she had, you still have to work very hard and children are still a very large responsibility and then she was just like oh yeah that's true and then I just told her like about like my family and how many children like my grandparents have you know like our grandparents had my my grandparent my mom's side had six children and my dad's mom I think she had eight or nine and back then like that wasn't nobody thought like eight kids or six kids was a lot of children that was just two generations ago A little bit of soy sauce. Can you tell us what you're putting in it? Pepper. Garlic powder. Okay, some sesame seeds. So did your mom teach you how to cook when you were younger? Not teaching, I'm just looking. You just watched. Mm-hmm. Watch it. Because it's a second dog, sorry. <laughs> what does soaking in lemon water do? So is this the broth? Uh, what's inside of it? Uh, spice. Garlic. Powder. And then the best soy sauce. younger um did you guys teach him how to cook no no not too naughty joe <laughs> why am i knowing because you don't know how to cook no anything boy. you're a little boy at 16. No. you should have been in the kitchen, kitchen kind of learning so you can cook for yourself <laughs> I'm going to take your touch. I know I am. Did it? Good. Christmas tree. Good job. Wow, young one. Good. I didn't get a star. You didn't get a star? Not your die. What's your name, young? What's your name? Uh, it's young one in Korean. Young one in Korean? Mm hmm. How do you know that? You're okay. Smart. How old are you now? Mm, three. You're gonna be four soon. Do you know when your birthday is? Mm-mm. I know what I want. I'll, I'll, not, you, I'll, I'll, I'll not give. I'll not give Elsa her butterfly earring. Mm-hmm. But I know what Ajay mm-hmm. wants. I know what Ajay wants for his birthday. What? He wants a want, Marshall. He wants the big Marshall truck. 
I, I'm talking about I want Chase with his vehicle yeah. and Ryder and with his vehicle and Elvis Yummy. with his vehicle Yummy. and 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 and. and, oh, and Paw Patrol with their vehicles. Mhm. Mm <laughs> and uh, oh, and the lookout towel. Yeah. Well, guess what? You ain't getting none of that. Why? Because because I don't. I'm giving out any presents this Christmas. No, he means he wants that for birthday. You want it for your birthday? Mm-hmm. Well, she ain't giving any presents for birthday. <laughs> <laughs> How do you Mom, know what you want? Because? What you're going to have on your birthday is a cake and a party. Yeah. And presents. You forgot presents? Joey, no come on. No come on. They need to close their eyes. Keep them closed. Go. Navia, Navia, Nina, Onora, Onina. 